Hello, I'm Johannes Zinzendorf, and I'm here today with Christian Zinzendorf in the Spinning and Weaving Studio here at the Hermitage, a, uh, a spiritual center for harmonists in central Pennsylvania. We're going to be showing and discussing the history of flats spinning. 30,000 years of technological change. We're going to begin with the very simplest spinning tool of all, the human hand. Then we'll progress to the hand spindle, the drop spindle, the earliest type of spinning wheel, then the single flyer wheel, and we'll end with the culmination, the crowning achievement of home flat spinning, the double flyer wheel. Now, the fibers we'll be using come from the flats plant. This is flats. We raise a field of flats every summer here at the Hermitage. It has a very short tap root. Let me get one plant here. It has a very short tap root, a very long stalk, and it doesn't branch until the very end. Now this is green flats. In order to properly process the flats, it has to be redded or rotted. This flats is rotted, and now I can show you how we get the fibers out of the flats plant. If I simply break the stalk like this, the fibers pop right out. These are the fibers that we're going to be spinning into linen thread. And the key letters of the word linen are the first four, L-I-N-E, line. Because we're going to be making, whether it's with a hand or the drop spindle or the double flyer wheel, we're going to be making lines of flat fibers that are twisted into linen thread. Now, the origin of the cultivated flats plant date back many thousands of years to the Caucasus, a mountainous region on the border, actually that forms the border between Eastern Europe and Central Asia. It's a wild area. Countries today such as Georgia, Armenia, and Ossetia are there. And not by chance, the earliest known sample of spun flax fiber comes from the Caucasus. In fact, if we had done this series of videos four or five years ago, we would have put the beginnings of flat spinning back about 15,000 years max. But due to very, very recent archaeological finds in the Caucasus, in a cave in the Caucasus, we now put the uh, earliest known samples of flat spinning back 30,000 years. It's an amazing achievement and an amazing discovery. Now, they did not find actual samples of flat fibers or linen thread. Those had long ago disintegrated. What they found was in effect the silhouette or the shadows of the linen thread. Not only did they find linen thread, but they also discovered that it was dyed a variety of colors. So this is, again, it's an amazing achievement. It more than doubles back into history our knowledge and understanding and appreciation of the spinning process and the cultivation of the flax plant. Now, we're not sure exactly how they were spinning their flax, but it was very likely with, as I said, the earliest known tool, the human hand. And Christian will demonstrate how to spin the flat fibers with the hand. The use of hand spinning, actually rolling the flat fibers on your thigh into uh, a thread, is common to many uh, tribal societies across the planet. Native Americans, for example, would spin their wool threads on their knee with their hand. We know the ancient Greeks did this, a variety of cultures did this, and it's simply the easiest way to make thread. 